The display menu for the 6000 series oscilloscope has been designed to maximise the area for displaying the acquired data. But as described in this section, it is still possible to customise the display system for a particular acquisition of data. So at the moment, this is the default display and we can see channel 1 displayed in the main panel. The first customization we can do is to change the color for any particular channel. And this menu is available in the tools menu under preferences where we can set up the color options. So this is the default um, color for channel one, which is blue, but we can customize it to any chosen color. So for example, we could choose mauve and apply the uh, change and then display that channel in any particular color. We are now going to go ahead and turn on uh, channel 2 with the same vertical sensitivity and here we can see the channel 2 is in red and this is in fact the same signal but has passed through a low pass filter. So on channel 1 we can see more high frequency content in the data and this has been filtered out in the uh, channel 2. So this is an overlay display and it's very useful for comparing two channels but it is possible to separate the channels on the display in the views menu by selecting uh, auto arrange and this provides an offset so we can separately display each channel. To reset the channels we can select the reset option and then provide the overlay display as they originally displayed. Another way of displaying these two channels is to use two separate display panels and these are available by producing a right mouse click in the main menu and add view and we're going to add a second scope display. So we now have two YT displays of the channel A and channel B data and we can further customize it by selecting which channels are displayed in each panel. This is available in the channels menu and we can unselect channel B in the upper panel and then unselect channel A in the lower panel. So now we have the uh, channel A in the upper panel and just channel B in the lower panel. And we can further rename the panels. So again we can do a right mouse click and select rename. So rather than the default scope one name I can call this unfiltered. And similarly I'll rename the lower panel filtered. So now we can see the name tabs on the two panels and this is uh, very nice for hard copy because anyone can then read the uh, name of the panel and understand what the data is displaying. A, a further panel can be displayed by doing a, a right round mouse click and add for example an XY display. So now we have a third display and this is showing the relative amplitude of channel 1 versus channel 2. To add a fourth display, you can do a right mouse click and add, and for example, we could do a spectrum display. So now we have four panels. We've got the original input channels, the XY display, and now a spectrum display. It is possible to resize any one of the chosen panels. You might want to look in more detail at the uh, frequency spectrum, and you, you can pick up and drag the edges of the display panel. So we can produce a much larger uh, display, say, for the FFT. So now we can look in more detail here. We can see the original channel has got some more high frequency content. And the red, the channel 2, the filtered version, now has reduced those harmonics. The original display, again, can be reset by selecting Reset Views menu. And this puts it back to the four original display menus.